Hey guys, it's Ramon from Eclectic Emissary and I'm so happy to be here today actually. I've been waiting to come here for like so many years, it's insane. Today we are here at Kennedy Space Center and uh, yeah, there's tons of awesome stuff to see. They have the one of the last space shuttles that I have to see, the Atlantis. So I'm super pumped about that, you know, gonna finally see this and chase our dreams, whatever. So if you like content, like and subscribe, stay tuned for more videos and yeah, let's go. Just bought tickets at the uh, self-serving booth over there. I think there's single day pass and multi-day pass. I just bought the single because obviously it's gonna be here for one day. I think ours was about 60 bucks. You can get the other one for like 82, so if you want to visit twice, it's probably good value there. And uh, yeah, you can also buy online, but. This is so insane. After you exit the uh, astronaut hall of fame, there's just this giant rockets everywhere behind you, and it's so cool. I'm like freaking out. I'm such an aerospace nerd, though, so yeah, of course. If you guys also are interested in space exploration and engineering, you would love this place. Actually, I'm staying in Orlando and to get here is about like an hour drive. There's probably buses or shuttles or something you can book before so I would check but yeah most likely if you're staying in Orlando it's gonna be a bit of a drive to get out here but I would say leave early because the park opens at 9 and closes at 5 and there's so much to see here so definitely would recommend getting here as early as you can. So here in the Space Shuttle Atlantis docking bay, oh man, it is incredible. Like just to be here seeing this, that this actually went to space is like insane. And I've been trying to see these, oh, all the space shuttles for years and years. So it feels good to finally done it. Finally I saw all space shuttles across America, you know? Feels good, man. Dreams do come true. This is what it's like. Oh snap! Inside the space. Ah, oh, 
ISS, ISS man, and it is kind of tight, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be pretty difficult to live in, but I guess, uh, you know, you're in space, you gotta make with it. Here we have kind of a memorial for all the other uh, space shuttles. Actually, been to all of them. So the Endeavor, that one's in. That's in LA, Atlantis. Obviously, that's here. Discovery, that's back home in DC. Challenger and Columbia. Obviously, didn't make it. They're not around anymore. But we have the Enterprise in my hometown of New York. So finally got to see all four. Four. So it's pretty awesome. Feel pretty accomplished. About to step into the launch simulator, get shaken up, you know, it's gonna be crazy. So, I'm gonna have some recording of it. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. I just got done the space shuttle simulator. Unfortunately, can't record in there, no pictures either. That sucks, but. It is pretty cool. They like tilt you 90 degrees back and it's just kind of shake you up and, and rock you up on there. It's pretty fun. So I definitely recommend you have the time. Uh, definitely try out the, the shuttle experience. And now we're going to go catch our bus to the next place. So right now we're on a shuttle to take us to another part of the park, which is free. You just have to make a reservation for it and yeah, get on the bus at the right time. Go check out some shuttles and how the launch pad works and stuff. We choose to go to the moon in this decay and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Saturn V rocket behind us. This thing is freaking enormous. 37 story building. That's how tall this thing was like. It's the size of this entire room. It's freaking insane. Holy crap. So here it is, Saturn V, man. One of the first rockets used to launch the first manned space flight to the moon on Apollo 8 mission. It's pretty crazy, like, it comes in multiple sections, so it actually separates, you know, um, after it's done burning. It's pretty insane, man. It took like two minutes to walk to the one side of this. It's just huge. It's crazy! Yep, and we're ending the day with a bunch of dipping dots, I mean space dots, because, uh, yeah, gotta taste the future, you know? All right, that is it. The end of our day at the Kennedy Space Center, and it was incredible. So much history, so much interesting facts. I mean, a lot of the real artifacts are still left here, too, and it's like, 
just so crazy to see them in person, how the magnitude of their size, it's like, man, I can't even believe they're that big. But I think it's definitely worth a trip out here. It's probably even just as good as all the other theme parks. So if you've never been, definitely come to Cape Canaveral. And yeah, you're gonna have fun, especially if you love space and stuff. So yeah, I guess uh, that wraps it up. Until next time, peace out.